Content moderation is the, definitely a very difficult uh, problem, uh, and there's all, many, all kinds of different dimensions to it, um, not just the sort of normative questions about how, what types of moderation is appropriate in different settings, and how some countries have different approaches to freedom of expression and things like that, but there's also a lot of real operational nasty aspects. I mean, when you think, for example, of all of those people who are working in uh, towers in the Philippines having to do content moderation on Facebook to take off all the violence and the child abuse and crazy stuff like that. And it's just disgusting to think what those people have to go through. It's horrific. And so, you know, the problem is we have a medium here which we celebrated for so many decades as giving unparalleled possibilities for people to express themselves, and now four and a half billion people have a printing press, so to speak. And we find out, lo and behold, that a lot of those people, not so nice. <laughs> um, so you can regulate the tech, you can restrict the technology more and say, well, we make more rules on who can upload or how quickly you can upload or whether something has to be go through some process first or we you know, have some ex-ante regulation or you could try to do post hoc and knock it down after it's been up there and hope that some AI program will be able to match an image to a database, et cetera, et cetera. But these are not simple things at all. Um, the thing that is, I think, really discouraging to me is that the companies that are making billions here are not taking, I think, enough responsibility in this regard. Uh, you know, there are, there are platforms that are highly profitable, that could be devoting a lot more resources to this unenviable and unworkable task than they are. Um, and over the longer term, whether we can evolve towards some more of a shared international approach or some kind of stewardship that's multi-stakeholder, this is, this is something lots of people put forward lots of ideas on. But in the short term, as an immediate stopgap, they ought to be trying to step up their game rather substantially in trying to keep some of the most vile stuff from being out there because it is frankly not only horrific and, and um, it affects perceptions of the internet all over. I talk to people from developing countries where access is still relatively limited and they're thinking about how much they want to grow access but then they say, but you know, I look at this and I look at what's going on in the internet and it's not good stuff, and do, how much of that do I want? So when you get to the point where the negativity of some of this stuff is actually suppressing the, the expansion of a net that could provide so many benefits and opportunities for people, that's problematic. So something, obviously long-term and near-term, a lot more has to be done. What is your greatest hope and what is your greatest fear for the future of the internet? 